Hey folks, welcome to another Adventures in Dog Training with American Standard Dog Training. I'm Garrett Wing. I'm your host for today's activities. Uh, today we're just going to show you where we're at with Apollo, the year and a half year old pit bull mix. He's mixed with a bull terrier. That's why he has this nice, big, beautiful head. Stay. You'll notice uh, on his tail he has a little wrap going on because when we got him he had a, a little case of the happy tail where he's so happy and waxed his tail so much. Um, the end opened up and has a little sore on it. It's a very hard thing to fix. Uh, check out our other video where we show you how to wrap up a, a dog's tail if they have that same condition. And it was just keeping it wrapped just to give it a really long time to heal so it doesn't open up again. You'll notice he's in his uh, a crate here. And uh, no, we don't normally keep a crate outside, but we just drug it out. It's a nice, beautiful day. We wanted to show you as part of his training. We crate train this dog. Um, he, we'll go ahead and close the gate just to show you where we're at with him. Good boy. Um, when he was with his original owners, not original owners, when he's with his owners, his family, he had destroyed his crate, ripped it apart, tore it to shreds, and they were unable to put him back in a crate because they didn't want to have that happen again. Uh, since we got him, this is the crate he's been staying in. Again, we've had him three or four weeks now, not one issue with the crate. Um, we First thing we dealt with with him, and that's why we brought this out, like many dogs who don't like crates, getting them in and out of a crate can be a nightmare. And so it's the first thing we did when we fixed him was not only get him to go in the crate without a fight, but to stay in the crate, no barking, no biting, no craziness, be calm in the crate. And as you can see here, nice and calm. So it's a nice, beautiful day out. He's panting a little bit, but it's probably, I don't know, 70 degrees. There's no breeze, but he's doing just fine. Anyway, so let me show you. I talk too much, I know that, but bear with me. We'll just show you, this is what it's supposed to look like when you open a crate door. Stay. You can open it wide, we can walk away. He's not allowed to come out. Just because the door is open doesn't mean he can shoot out. This is not how we started. When we started, he was a wild animal, this guy. Um, if you, as soon as you went to unlatch it, he'd uh, use his head and just bulldoze his way out and you know, run like a wild man. So first thing we did was teach him, you have to relax. Just because the door is open doesn't mean you shoot out. Then, at some point, I do want him to come out so that I can put a collar on him. And so we made that uh, a habit now, a trained habit. So what that looks like, it would look like this. Apollo here. Come on, Bubba. We overworked the, uh, <laughs> the crate, as you can see. Come on, here. Good. I want him right here, just a few steps out, so that I can do what I need to do as far as putting on a collar, or whatever the case may be. And he's able to go back in, and I can grab a leash or do whatever I need to do. Uh, the other thing we have him really, really charged up on is the place board. So we'll show you what that looks like. Apollo here, come on. Here. Good. Place. We got the place board and the crate in some weird spot, so if he's a little rusty. That's what that's pretty normal. So anyways, we charged up the place board because at home his uh, his owners, the, the wife she just had a baby maybe a month ago, so she's got a little baby infant in the house, and we don't need him being a wild thing, running around like crazy, uh, like he was when we first got him. And what by crazy, uh, probably one of the wildest, craziest dogs we've ever got. I had him hooked up when I first hooked him up and brought him outside. He was jumping all over me. He tried to jump on top of a mailbox, never seen that before. Then he was jumping on top of any car he could see, any parked car and pulling like a wild thing. Uh, you could not walk him on a leash. Uh, he pulled extremely hard. One of the strongest dogs I've ever had on the end of a leash because he's low to the ground. He's uh, very physically fit, a lot of muscle, and it was all but impossible to walk him. And now, I'll show you how we walk him. Free, come on. Heel. Good. Don't even need a leash to walk him. Now, he is hooked up to what we call an electronic leash. This is a Doctra e-collar, also known as a shock collar. Uh, they have a bad rap. If you're into purely positive training, this channel is not for you. This type of dog thrives, thrives under structure and discipline. A purely positive trainer, sit. Here, come on, clean that up, buddy. Sit, good boy. A purely positive trainer would not be able to train this dog. In fact, that should have been an episode we filmed where we bring a purely positive trainer over to our house, pretend like we don't know what we're talking about, and see if they could handle this. This He's a little monster is what he is. A little pocket rocket monster. What are you doing? Come on. So, 
sit. Not to say we don't do a lot of positive training on our channel. If you've watched anything with our ch channel, you know that 90% of what we do is positive training. It's just with this breed and many breeds, they need to underscore all that positive training, good, with a little bit of discipline when necessary, right? It's uh, the best example I use is you ask your kid to clean their room and you say, if you clean your room, I'll give you 20 bucks. You do that five times in a row. On the, on the fifth or sixth time, you ask them to clean your room, but you don't have 20 bucks to clean their room. And, and you don't have the $20, they gotta clean the room. They have to do it or else. So sometimes we're out and about and we don't have food. Like right now I have food, but regardless, if I don't have food, he still needs to listen to me. Is that right? Good boy. So anyways, we'll show you a little bit more of the healing and um, take you through, through a little bit of his repertoire, show you what he's all about, right? Here, come on, heal. Filming? All right. That's how we go for walks now. Doesn't matter if there's cars driving by, people, dogs, kids, raccoons, squirrels. None of that matters. <laughs> Come on, you goof. All right. Why don't you uh, hang out back there a little bit? Just back away, about midway in the grass. Sit. Good. Down. Stay. Oh, I stepped off with the wrong foot. Let's see uh, how many dog trainers pick up on that. Good. Stay. Stay. Good boy. Good boy, we'll pay him for that because he did a nice job. Mm-hmm. Stay. Sit. Oh, a little creepy, creepy. Good boy. Heel. Come on. Tighten up, Bubba. Doesn't matter what pace we go, if we're running, jogging or if we go really slow. Beautiful, very nice, buddy. Yes, I like it, I like it. Stay, step off with the right, good. It's that simple, folks. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you like what you see, stay tuned for some more. Send us your dog, we only take two to three dogs at a time, and uh, after three or four weeks, your puppy will look just like Apollo here. Fine specimen of the breed. I'm talking about myself now. <laughs> now, he's a really good looking dog, full of energy. Actually has the potential to be a police dog, you know, if, if that were an option for him. It's unfortunate, but uh, there's not a lot of pit bulls in the uh, law enforcement industry just because of the rap. Not because they couldn't do the job. In fact, they could do the job just as good as any dog, but just a really bad rap. Anyways, like I said, stay tuned for some more Adventures in Dog Training. He's getting ready to go home in a few days. And uh, we're also going to put out another video just for him on uh, is the pit bull the right breed for you and your family? All right, because they, do, they do get a bad rap, but it's a fantastic dog, fantastic breed with the right training and the right owner. Um, I trust him around my kids. I trust him anywhere. We'll take him anywhere. No problems. So again, thanks again, guys, for watching. And we will see you on the next video. Ready to walk some more? Heel, come on.